All right, we're gonna go ahead and get, and get started. As always, <clears throat> uh, feel free to visit our VA and NLU community for all the latest resources and Q&A. And if you like what you're seeing, uh, we're all of this will be recorded and put on YouTube uh, within 48 hours, or try to. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you like what you're seeing, go ahead and click that like and, or, and subscribe button. And there you'll see our playlist of all the latest uh, VA academies and you'll get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So today's topic uh, is a big one. It's how to use dispatcher topics to improve your virtual agent conversations. And I've been thinking about this topic for a while. And I know that um, it's a, a guidance that we've been sharing in the past. And I wanted to really break that down and uh, provide some uh, steps on how to achieve dispatch topics and what to do and not do. So let's jump right into that. So yeah, it's basically our overview, exercise and Q&A. So what is a dispatcher topic? Now you might've heard this term uh, thrown about sometimes, but a dispatch topic is basically a topic that can direct users to other related topics. And those other related topics that you get directed to or dispatched to, uh, we call target topics. So you usually have a dispatcher topic leading to a target topic. And usually when you hear the dispatch topic and you're like, oh, that's fancy, should I create one? Well, you know, I usually, follow this train of thought. Number one, you know, can the question be addressed via AI search, right? Is it a one and done question? If it's, if it can be, then maybe you use AI search to surface that knowledge article or surface that catalog item, right? However, if the answer to the user's question is, it depends, then you should consider definitely using a virtual agent topic, right? And if the question contains, you know, if, there, if that question uh, leads to several similar topics, per item or per object, basically you know, different flavors of very similar topics are intense, then you should consider using a dispatcher topic, right? There's no use, well, not no use, but rather than having five topics, you know, fixing issues for say Teams and Web, WebEx and Slack or different hardware, different software, you should probably create a dispatcher topic that leads to other uh, similar topics. So then, you know, how do I create a dispatcher topic, right? Well, in this is, you know, the very high level brief answer, right? You first want to sketch out your topics ahead of time, right? You want to figure out what's the most scalable approach. You want to start with the user problem as your dispatcher topic. In other words, the verb, right? You know, you want to fix something or you want to request something or solve or answer something or whatever it is you're trying to achieve for the user. That's what you want as your dispatcher topic. And then that leads to objects or nouns for your target topics, right? So if it's about um, different software, you know, Adobe, Teams, WebEx, those are good candidates for tar target topics, right? Or if it's about, you know, Lenovo, IBM, or about different uh, benefit packages, of, you know, Fidelity, Morgan Stanley, um, United Health, those are good um, candidates for target topics, right? And then you build out your topics. You build out your NLU intent and your you know and entities for the dispatcher topic, and you test. And we're going to go through that uh, in the exercise. Some do's and don'ts of dispatcher topics. You do want to try to keep it to less than five target topics per dispatcher topic. Uh, after five, it's it can be difficult for uh, admins to manage those topics, to test those topics, etc. Right uh, after five, you may you know, want to think about whether or not, you know, that that sixth target topic should just be search to uh, funnel those to a, a search engine rather than trying to build out more and more target topics, right? You do want to label your tar target topics with dispatcher topic name in VA Designer. So if I have like one dispatch topic with that leads to say three target topics, those three target topics, we should label it with a dispatcher topic name so that you're, you know, you can find them easily. And you do want to keep dispatcher topics to one level. And I know it's tempting to say, ah, well, I can, you know, create uh, two or three levels and the target topics could also be dispatcher topics that lead to more target topics. Tempting, but, um, I'd, you know, it's recommended you keep it to one level, again, for um, simplicity, uh, easier to manage, easier to test. The user doesn't get lost, and if they, you know, want to go back, you're not sending them, uh, you know, back multiple levels inception style, right? So just keep it one level where at all possible. Some don'ts: uh, don't use top, uh, don't use topic blocks. 
as target topics unless you plan on repeat use elsewhere. So if I've got a, a target topics on, for example, how to fix Microsoft Teams, um, that shouldn't be a topic block. But if the topic block is saying, oh, or the target topic is like, oh, it's just gonna lead to a live agent or it's a search or it's something else that I'm gonna use multiple times, and then you can use, then it's, you know, you, you can use topic blocks. Uh, don't make target topics discoverable or even visible if you can help it. So if you've got target topics, like, you know, one topic, how to fix Teams, one topic, how to fix WebEx, one topic, how to fix, I don't know, so some other messaging app or collaborative app, you run the risk of um, conflicts, right? Or NLU collisions or keyword collisions. So you want to make your target topic, I'm sorry, your dispatcher topic discoverable and your target topics not discoverable. Uh, you don't even want them visible on the show me everything topics. Um, you can if you want, but if you really want to clean up your show me everything list, um, just don't make them visible. And then finally, don't jump directly to a target topic. Uh, the reason why is if, it, if you jump to the wrong target topic, uh, it's a long way back for the user. Uh, maybe you know way back for the user. It's a very bad experience. So, you know, throughout these do's and don'ts, the overall message is, you know, it's better UX to repeat and ask and confirm with the user uh, where they want to go rather than get it wrong. Because uh, if, you know, I, I'd rather go through, uh, you know, repeating myself and saying yes or no just one or two more times than getting sent to a completely different or wrong place or location. And that's when I really get upset. Right. So those are the do's and don'ts. This is, so we're, let's jump into the exercise. This is what I'm going to do in the exercise. I'm going to create a dispatcher topic. I'm going to create a dispatcher NLU and intent. Uh, create target topics and connect the dots and test. And for this exercise, I'm not going to use an IT or HR uh, situation. Those uh, are already in my instance, and I may conflict review or may I get may get conflicted. So I'm going to use board games, right? And this is what my design is going to be look like, like. When I said, "Hey, in the very beginning, hey, sketch out your topics," this is what I'm doing. So I'm sketching out uh, a dispatch topic. You know, saying learn how to play a board game. Right, this could easily be learn how to use MS Teams, learn how to fix X, Y, Z. Right, you know, it's I try to use a, something that's very analogous, right? And then my target topics are going to relate to my nouns, my different games, right? And then in each target topic, I'm going to have, you know, uh, ask, hey, do you want to learn basic instructions or advanced strategies, right? Um, so let's with that, let's jump right in. So before we start, I am going to show you what I built and then I'm going to show you, you know, how to build it. So where is my designer? There we go. So um, I've got a grid in here. I'm going to say, you know, learn to play Scrabble. Okay, you can see I've got intent, I've got a topic, my dispatcher topic, and I've got an entity uh, board game Scrabble. And then, so you want to switch your words to Scrabble? It's confirmation. Yes, I do. Let's play some Scrabble. Do you want instructions or strategies? Right at this point, I'm in the target topic. I'm going to say, hey, I want to just learn simple instructions. And I, I don't, I didn't type it all out, but this is that. Do you want to learn another game? What I do is, uh, if I click no, it just ends the conversation. I click yes, it switches me back to the dispatcher topic, and uh, with Scrabble, no, it's one, another game. And then it, I'll take, take me to the menu uh, that I skipped earlier because again, I've had ent entity recognition. And these are my three um, things, my three, three games with more target topics. So, you know, uh, it looks easy and it should be, right? <laughs> and now we'll, I'll show you how to build it. So with that, I'm gonna switch over to a brand new instance. So that this is gonna be a different instance than what I just showed you. Um, and I'm gonna show you um, live how to build this thing. So first thing we're gonna do is create a dispatcher topic. Call it board game or learn to play board game. Uh, this is a San Diego instance, but you can easily do this in Rome as well. I think, yeah, uh, I think even Quebec too, but certainly Rome or San Diego. Um, and then yes, it's a topic. We'll click create. Create my topic for me. And the first thing I want to do is enter in a static choice. 
you know, let's call it which game. You know, what game do you want to learn? Uh, you know, there will be Scrabble. Monopoly and chess. Right, and then um, we're gonna bring in a decision and there'll be three branches, right? One for each game. I'm just gonna build out the Scrabble branch, uh, but of course you're gonna have Monopoly one, and a chess one. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the Q&A while, while I'm doing this, but this should be relatively straightforward. You know, I'm gonna add another branch called other game. Uh, I should add that here as well. Uh, well, this one I'm actually gonna use I'm going to drag in a topic block and just run contextual search, right? Um, the context I'll look up later, but uh, my query would definitely be other game. Okay. So let me just quickly bring up the conditions here. For other, it's going to be which game is other. If I don't do this, uh, if I try to run this, um, flow uh, is going to send me to a default and I don't know what the default is. So I'm just going to eliminate that possibility by uh, using uh, configuring all of these is uh, where am I chess. Right? Yeah, monopoly. And which game is monopoly, right? Now, uh, what is next? So I've done that. So now I'm going to, let's see, what I should probably do at this point is add um, the NLU intent. And, I, and the reason why I should is because, um, you know, we're going to use that to skip uh, utterances. So um, what should we do? So uh, we'll go to properties here. And under NLU model, I'm going to select an existing NLU model, uh, which called VC, uh, you know, San Diego VC model. And then what you can do here, this is a San Diego trick here. These are my existing intents. I can create an intent directly from a uh, virtual agent topic. Uh, yeah, intent name, learn, learn, learn how to play game. That's completely fine. So there we go, intent been created. If I switch over to NLU intent, I don't have any utterances. I'm going to try to add some. So all my utterances are going to be in, in, you know, they're going to be like, what are the rules to play Scrabble, how to play Scrabble, how to play chess, you know, things like that. I'm going to use, uh, I'm just going to type some utterances real quickly here. I should have at least 10, very least 10, um, but um, you should have more generally. And I'm using a, a combination of chess monopoly, you know, how to play, the game Scrabble. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing variations. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing I should do, uh, let's see, how many do I have? I should add some more Animal instructions. I need help on Scrabble. Right. Uh, no, 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 no. Do I have learned to play? Yes. What are instructions for? Uh, play chess. Uh, let's go. Oh, I missed one. Well, before I do that, you know, I have, I, I mentioned chess, Scrabble, Monopoly. I want these to be entities. Two reasons. One, better, better topic discovery if my, if NLU knows. Um, you know, what the entity is or what entity I'm, I'm calling. And two, allow me to skip the uh, the choice of, you know, what game do you want to play? So if I type, I want to learn chess or Scrabble, it'll know, oh, you want to learn Scrabble or, you know, or chess, for example, and uh, it'll uh, skip the 
the choice list for me. And we'll, I'll show you how that's done. So what I'm doing is here is I'm just linking every uh, mention of the game to the entity I just created, a simple entity, doesn't have to be too complicated, a uh, board game. Right there on the edge of the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna train this model. Training, training. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna say, you know, uh, learn the rules. I don't think I'm, that's in there. Oh, it is. Learn. I want to learn how to play Scrabble. This is a test. And yeah, you see, I got 97% uh, match. Board game entity Scrabble. Good and good. So I'm gonna publish this model. Again, in real life, you probably want more than uh, nine uh, utterances, but I'm, get, I'm getting away with it so far, which is good. So publish successful. And let's go back to the, to the flow here. So once I've done that, I can now, you know, I'm back here to the which game input, select associated entity board game and uh, skip confirmation there. And I think I wanna enable the NLU as well. Let me just double check. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to, we're not switching topics. We're just going to skip confirmation for recognized entity. Okay. The switching we're going to do manually. Okay. So someone's going to type, you know, I'm going to ask what game do you want to learn? Or someone's just going to type, I want to learn Scrabble. They're going to recognize Scrabble. They're going to jump straight to, remember we said confirmation, right? So let's do that. I'm going to confirm, hey, do you want to, do you want to learn to play Scrabble? Yes or no. I'll bring in another static choice here. I could use Boolean, but you know, I'm just gonna uh, shoot. Of course, this day of old days is when my G key or F key to, to turn, decides to fly off my keyboard. Uh, let's play with words. Learn to play Scrabble. No, yes. No, right? Um, and then another decision. So if it's yes, we're gonna send them to switch to Scrabble topic, which we're gonna create in a moment. Uh, this, we'll need to just type in some things here. We're gonna deal with that in a moment. Or, you know, perhaps I should, say dispatch Scrabble, and then we'll send that to end. And if it's no, so this is yes, right? If confirm Scrabble is yes, no, Scrabble is no. If it's no, we're gonna send them all the way back to the very beginning. Oops, I meant to click save, not test. Uh, let me switch my screen share to make sure that we are, I'm sharing the desktop in case uh, you wanna see any pop-ups, um, but I'm just gonna click save here. So now I need to create my target dispatcher, top, uh, dispatch target topic for Scrabble. So go to here and we're gonna create another topic. And remember when I said, uh, you know, you want to type in your dispatch topic, Scrabble target topic. The topic, let's create it. And this topic can be much easier. Um, it's basically, let's bring in a text. Oh no, actually. What I wanted to do, remember, um, you know, instructions or strats. Do you want to learn instructions or advanced strategies? I'm gonna go quickly here now because we're not even in the connected dots part, but it's good to see the thought process.
And then let's just say, hopefully the user just types in instructions. Here are instructions, All right. So I'm going to publish this topic. So it's active, but you see on this on this active, I have a drop down here. I can make this topic discoverable and visible. Remember what I said, we don't want to make it discoverable and we don't want it uh, visible in the list of show me everything. A, it cleans it up. B, it, uh, it um, uh, avoids conflicts with I, if someone types learn how to play Scrabble, they, you know, and they're trying to figure out whether they take you to the dispatch or target topic, right? So turn those off. And then I'm going to go back to my dispatch topic and I'm going to say, hey, if someone says Scrabble, dispatch to that topic, right? So I'm going to go back to my dispatcher topic. And under here, I'm going to dispatch to that target topic via script. And you're going to be like, oh no, scripts. Don't worry, it's very easy. It's just one line. It's called VA system switch topic by ID. And that ID is going to be, you probably guessed it, the sys ID of that Scrabble topic. So if I go to my uh, sys CS topic table, I refresh. Uh, let me try to find my Scrabble right there. Target topic, copy the sys ID, and paste it in. You're probably thinking, well, is this even documented? It sure is. Let me just open up real quick. So if I were to go to, uh, to docs, .servicenow.com and I just search virtual agent scripts. The script I'm using, I'm just gonna scroll down here all the way to all the system methods is in this long list here, right here, switch topic by ID tells you how to use it, right? So that's how you dispatch to the Scrabble topic, okay? So once we did that, um, let's see if I can run this. Let's see, I'm gonna save. We're gonna publish this. Uh, let's test it. So let's see, let's see if I can test it here. Hope you can see my test window as I'm sure desktop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna include topic discovery, right? So it should just um, show me. So notice, show me everything. I've got the board game topic, but I do not have the Scrabble topic and it's not discoverable too. So I, type learn to play Scrabble. You see, it not, it not only takes me to my correct topic, it skips this input choice and goes straight to this confirm. You know, do you wanna, and got my board game entity at Scrabble. Do I wanna learn to play Scrabble? Yes. If I click no, it just takes me to the back, click yes. And voila, do I want to learn, oh, I should have mentioned for Scrabble, but at this point, I'm in my dispatcher topic. I click instruction, I think I just ended the topic, I forget. So that's how you dispatch. Now, how do you return? Let's show that before uh, our time is over. So let's go to, back to our Scrabble topic. And what are we going to do? We're going to switch. We're going to dispatch right back to the to the dispatcher topic, right? So we're going to go uh, script action, return to um, dispatch, and I should probably put in a choice here. Uh, <clears throat> learn another. Do you want to learn another game? Oops. Of course, again, this could be Boolean, but I'm just gonna use choice, yes or no. Right. Um, decision, of course, this is for the yes branch. Learn another is yes, go here. If it's no, I'm just gonna end the conversation, obviously. This to the end. 
So here, for this batch, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to switch topics. Switch. Oops. Uh, let's see. How do I? What's my? Yeah, VA system. Lowercase, sorry. Topic by ID. What is this ID of my dispatcher topic? Let's go take a look. Something about board. This one here. If I'm moving too quickly, my apologies. I just want to show you everything I'm trying to show you in the 30 minutes. This probably could have easily been an hour uh, long academy if I wanted it to be. But if you watch this on YouTube at 0.75 speed, you'll probably uh, get the gist of it. Of course, you can always re replay and review as well. But OK, that's good. I should. This will take me back to the dispatcher topic. Publish. Anyway, no NLU here for this target topic. So if I go back to this dispatcher topic, so something you may have noticed when I demoed it the very first time, when I switch back to the dispatch topic, it won't take me to the very, very beginning. It'll take me back to the point of, uh, you know, I switched to the topic, which is probably going to be around here. Uh, let's play with words and learn to play Scrabble. This is the confirm Scrabble place, right? And if I click no, what's going to happen is, it's still going to skip this input choice. Why? Because my entity is still saved as Scrabble. And it's, then it's just going to skip this again. And I'm just going to be putting this loop like, oh, do you want to, you know, do I want to play Scrabble? Do I want to play Scrabble? I don't want that. So how do I clear the entity so that if I click no, then it'll actually ask me legitimately, hey, what game do you want to play? Well, luckily, we have another script that helps me clear or unbind the entity. And that's what I want to show you. So this is unbind entity. And you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, another script, is that documented? Yes, it is. Uh, this, so this is new in Rome and it's an input one because again, the, that input was input board game and I wanna input or unbind the entity associated with that input. And I'm gonna use this right here. VA inputs dot my var, and in my case, board game dot unbind entity. So let's do that. VA inputs, you see it's got auto generate or auto uh, fill here, uh, which game dot uh, want unbind entity, voila. Save, test. A topic discovery is turned on. Learn the rules to Scrabble. Different, I'm going to use a different utterance, but the uh, experience should be the same. You see how entity is confirmed to Scrabble. That's why it skipped this which game. And if I were to type no, it now effectively takes me back to Scrabble because now it, it doesn't know what I want to learn, right? I've unbinded the, the board game entity. I click Scrabble. Let's learn, yes. Dispatch me to the target topic. Learn some instructions. Do I want to learn here in the instructions? Learn another game? Yes. Dispatch me back or return me back to here. You know, do I learn, learn, want to learn to play Scrabble? Click no. Dis unbind me, take me back to, oops. It should have taken me back to the uh, board game. Well, as you saw in the initial uh, experience, it should, take, it, should, it should have taken me back. I don't know why exactly, but uh, I can, fig I can figure that out and post the results or post my findings in the uh, YouTuber community. But uh, yeah, that's dispatch topics. I know that was a lot, but I know this is a very important topic and you can, uh, you know, I use board games, but you can apply this to all the other things that you're creating VA topics for, hardware, software, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend the rest of the time answering questions. If you're uh, willing to stay on, that'd be great. If not, that's fine. I'll see you uh, on YouTube or via community. Um, first question, why didn't the VA system method show on autocomplete? Uh, that's a good question. And it's probably because we just, it just wasn't designed that way. I think for VA inputs there, you know, we actually know what the variables you are uh, or you're using versus uh, VA system methods. There's just so many methods. Like we just, you know, an autocomplete would just, you know, give you a list of the dozens or so that we've documented there. Um, Chris asked, we can build this topic switcher on a, as a custom topic block. Shown that is such a common functionality. I'm familiar with this use case. And the reason why it hasn't been added an official switch topic utility. Well, you could probably um, 
into a switch topic, but uh, you still have to put in the topic ID, right? So yes, we could create a, a script action uh, for, for switch topic, but it's still going to be, you're still going to have some bit of configuration. So, um, you know, if, if, if low coding topic switch is interesting, then I would say submit an idea, but, uh, you know, what we're doing here is pretty straightforward. Just see as dragging a script action, put in one line of code and, uh, you're done basically. If it was more involved and certainly that would have been a, a good use case to, uh, to low code it or to productize it. But in the meantime, we're just going to, you know, make it pretty much a straightforward script action and one line of code in there. How do I know whether I need to take the sysid from? Oh, that's a good topic, or I'm good. A good question. Um, that's just sysCS. It's just sysCS topic. Just uh, memorize it, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it is sysCS topic. SysCB topic is used for other reasons, um, you know, other architectural reasons. But you definitely do want to just use it from sysCS topic in this uh, situation here. Uh, what is the benefit of this setup versus using a topic block? Well, uh, like I, men I, I mentioned this a little earlier, uh, topic, you know, nothing here re is repeated. Like there, I'm not, I'm not going to learn to play Scrabble or learn to play Monopoly or say WebEx or Teams anywhere else in any other topic. So I'm not using um, topics. I'm, I'm uh, topic blocks here. I'm not using setup topics here either. These are all topic to topic. Okay. Uh, is there a script to get entity value in the conversation? Yes, there is. If you search in community, it's, I, I, they've asked that before. I forget what the exact variable is or the exact function is. But if you uh, search that in community, you'll, you, you'll find it. But there is a, a way to extract entity value. Sometimes we were not able to train and publish NLU models. What could be reason? Well, um, I do have an NLU FAQ slash troubleshooting article. Uh, so if your NLU isn't training or publishing, then uh, you know, feel free to check that out. And um, hopefully that would uh, help with you with your issue. Okay, uh, those are all the questions. I'm gonna just check chat, chat's empty. That is a first. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening, everyone. I will see you in two weeks uh, for another Virtual Agent Academy and enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Thank you.